Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder with DormRoomCast.com. Today, I just had a quick little video. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do long tail research. And so I'm going to show you how I do long tail research for both DormRoomCast and my other niche sites. Um, and the software that I use is actually Longtail Pro. So here it is right here. Um, in order to speed up the video, I actually already went through, added the seed keywords, um, these four right here, and I logged into my Google AdWords account, uh, selected set abroad, went to exact match. Um, I, I go ahead and I uh, just do the do domain availability just because it gives me a better idea of what's available. Uh, what's out there that people are already trying to rank for um, using micro niche sites and so that's just something I do um, another thing I uh, filter any searches that get less than uh, 75 searches per month local searches per month and more than 750 local searches per month the reason I do that 75 is a good number because Google says that the number one spot on, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Google says that the number one spot on there on Google search gets roughly 42%. So, roughly 42%, let's say that's 30 visitors a month. So, 30 visitors a month would be one visitor a day. And so, that's kind of what I go off of. Anything over 750, I tend not even to try to target because or as a long tail keyword because usually there's a lot more competition for those keywords okay so then you hit generate keyword or you did that <coughs> came up to th this stuff right here so uh, one of the things uh, you can do is just go search around find the you know, maybe a keyword that you like something over here that doesn't have or that has the .com, .net, and .org, uh, usually they're a lot easier to rank for. So we'll go ahead and look at it right here and see what we can come up with. Um, these you can see that the page rank, two, two, three, two, four, all these are the page rank of the of the site, not of the. Or they're the page rank of the page, not of the site. So you want to remember that. This is the the site age. These right here are the page links for that uh, SEO Moz knows of. So uh, front walkway landscaping ideas. Now this would be something I would actually go after, mainly because right here you see eHow. Now eHow is a pretty popular site, is really respected by Google, so that's probably why they're up on the first page. But you can also see they have only four links to their site. Uh, this down here um, looks like a subdomain actually has no links, was created not that long ago. So this would actually be something I would go after. Let's see, let's find another one. Maybe a little, maybe one with a little bit more traffic. Um, Let's see, small garden design ideas. Right here, small gardening or garden design ideas.com. Because the dot com isn't even ranked up on the first um, spot of Google, I actually wouldn't even go after that one. So, right there, you know, I just click out of it. And this is how I do keyword research. I usually spend maybe a half an hour on it and I can pull out. You know, 15, 20 different keywords that I like. Um, landscaping ideas for ranch style homes. As you can see right here, you have YouTube is actually number six, I believe, seven. Uh, there was a forum that's up here. You got eHow at the very top. You see right here, page, page rank one, zero, one, zero, two. Zero. These two don't even have a page rank. This one wasn't even created that long ago either. And see so over here, the the links from SEO Moz, uh, there's very few. So this would actually be a good keyword 
to go after if my niche site or whatever was about landscaping ideas or something like that. <coughs> Another thing, 140 local searches. Uh, that would be maybe two search or two visitors per day. So that would be another good one to go after as well. Um, let's see, Dallas landscape. You know, that's probably a little bit harder. You know, yeah, it is. Uh, although they don't have the keyword in the description, um, and you know, there's not like a lot of links for Dallas landscape. Uh, what you want to look at is there's there isn't an extension. Uh, past the dot com dot net these are all the main the actual uh, domain so this is the main website so in the <coughs> in the top ten every every website here the link the is actually to the main website and not uh, a subdomain or a page or a post so right there it would tell me that that's probably a little too hard to go after so I just skip right over that um, let's see we'll do a couple more maybe a little bit more traffic uh, front yard landscaping plans with 320 local searches the they have a dot com dot net and dot org uh, you know, let's see what they have okay so this one has a mix of 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 websites that their page or category or something like that is actually ranking. Then there's some with just the main website, HGTV. They're a very popular website as well. Um, you know, maybe they're ranking because of their of their main website and not because of the the other pages. Um, you know, this right here would be something I wouldn't go after because the sites all have a pretty high page rank they all have a decent amount of links as well so really that's that's all I do um, for both dorm room cache and for other my other niche sites now uh, people always ask me you know, why do I go after uh, long tail keywords instead of uh, building links to you know higher search for keywords or something like that and the reason I do it is because uh, the more long tail keywords you have, the more traffic you'll get, and then you won't be as you won't uh, be too worried about Google uh, moving your site from you know the first page down to the second page or even further. So you know, if I was just going after let's say uh, backyard living. Uh, it has 590 searches. Okay, it's not a lot, but it's just an example. You know, what if Google decided they didn't? There was another, you know, five sites that looked better than mine, and so then they push me down to page two. Well, if I'm going after instead of that one, I'm going after, you know, these three right here, or these four. Just an example. You know, let's say Google moves, pushes one to page two, and all these are ranking in the top five on page one well I'm still gonna get a lot of traffic so you just kind of want to manage uh, or uh, limit the risk that you have Google's making a lot of changes lately so you just want to make sure that what they what they're doing is not going to affect you um, in a huge way so anyway that's that's really what I do for long tail keyword research um, I'd highly recommend that you get long tail pro um, it's a pretty good pretty good uh, piece of software I've been using it for a while um, there will actually be a link below this video so make sure you click on that and go see what it's all about but anyway this is Adam Snyder with dormroomcash.com and thanks for watching